I do not know whether this represents a uh, prenatal or a postnatal uh, liver and kidney, but uh, I do know one thing. It's going to show some spectacular diagnostic features. I don't want to blow it up yet because at first I want you to realize all these glomeruli here are in the kidney, and here's a liver. And uh, as we blow up the liver, we'll go to the liver first, we can see that the overall architecture is preserved. <clears throat> and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, there's some inflammation around this portal tract, and you're right. And in addition, you're thinking, hey, well, what are all these little dotted cells out in the parenchyma? Are those uh, inflammatory cells too? No, they're not. If you remember that the uh, liver and the uh, spleen, par particularly the liver, is the site of erythropoiesis in newborns, and within a month or so, uh, it disappears and basically all goes to the bone marrow. In fact, before it's even in the liver, it's in the yolk sac in the very early stages of fetal life. Um, so this is a liver that does have portal inflammation, but these little nests of cells out here are uh, hematopoietic cells, normal uh, hematopoietic cells. But nevertheless, there's some kind of inflammatory process going on here. And the reason why I don't want to move this is because it took me a long time to find the diagnostic spectacular feature. You know that uh, hepatocytes in general uh, are fairly uniform. They probably have a nucleolus in the adult stage. Here are some hepatocytes out here. I do not know whether these represent some hepatocytes or bile duct cells. They may very well be bile duct because it looks to me almost like a little glandular configuration, plus it's in the portal area. But what do we have right here? We have a nucleolus that is very, very blue or basophilic inside of an enlarged, uh, probably epithelial cell with a little clear zone around it. Instantly, you know it's too big to be a nucleolus. So whenever you see a big intranuclear basophilic inclusion. Think of CMV. This is congenital cytomegalovirus disease. And the liver uh, basically uh, has a hepatitis because of it. And I think I could convince you that these are inflammatory cells. But remember, these cells are just hematopoietic cells. And um, the overall hepatic architecture remains preserved. Um, but the spectacular changes now are right next door in the kidney. Here's the capsule of the liver. Here's a section through the kidney. You can see all these glomeruli. Look how numerous they are. But look how some of the tubules in the kidney already look like they have enlarged uh, cells. You know this is not normal for any stage of life. And the spectacular finding here is that virtually every single one of these enlarged tubular cells has another huge intranuclear basophilic inclusion. This is all over the kidney. You don't have to look hard for this. This is massive uh, CMV uh, infection uh, of the kidney as well. And uh, look at it, it's all out here. All these nuclei are here, here, here here. It's any random place you go to in the kidney, you're probably going to see them. Uh, here's a section of kidney in which we can't see too many big obvious ones yet. But here, here's a couple over here too. So once again, you see big intranuclear inclusions anywhere. And CMV can infect just about anything like herpes, you know, lung, kidney, uh, liver. In this case, it's congenital. Whenever you see big intranuclear basophilic inclusions. Remember, this is not the nucleus. This is the nucleolus. The nucleus is the little shell around it. About half of the cross-section uh, of the nucleus is nucleolus here, more than half here, probably about half here, more than half here. Intranuclear basophilic inclusions, think CMV. Thank you very much.